So today is October 10th. And it's right at almost 3 o'clock. It's 2.55. And I just got set up. I'm going to give everybody a rundown on what I had to do today to get set in this tree. And what I've been doing up to this point. I'm hunting a particular deer. Five and a half year old, big nine point. And I've actually had pictures of this deer all summer. And it's a little ridge on the bottom side of a cutover where I think this deer is bedding. I've got three persimmon trees right here where I'm at. And this deer, I've got a camera set up just below me here on one of these persimmons. This deer has been coming in here just about every day. Give or take, you may skip a few days. I come in here and hunt it on September 26th and the 27th. Saw the deer each time I hunted. Saw him the evening of the 26th. Saw him the morning of the 27th. And saw him the evening of the 27th. Got footage of him. And was never able to get a shot. I was set up about 40 yards from where I am now. Now today, what I've done is something I've never tried. I know this deer's coming in here and I needed a perfect wind. I waited until now, October 10th, since the 27th of September to get a northwest wind. I've got it today. I've taken a climber and I'm actually in the persimmon tree that this deer's been coming to. I've got good cover right below me. If he comes in the way I've seen him come in the last three times, I expect to have like a 12 yard shot right in front of me. And that's how I hope to get him this evening. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have two problems today. I'm supposed to clear off here in about an hour. The sun's gonna be in my face. And the next thing I know I'm gonna have to get ready for is there's about six coons that come to this tree every, every evening. I've been just judging my camera. Uh, when they get up in this tree, you know, if they get to barking at me, I don't know how that's gonna work, so. So we'll see, you can hear the persimmons falling, they're falling like crazy right now. So this evening ought to be good, high pressure this evening. Uh, I've been waiting on this day for, for 15 days now, just about, so. I'm hoping, uh, hoping I can get it done today or tomorrow. I'm gonna come back here and do the same thing tomorrow if I don't see him today. I've got a camera right below me that I checked. Uh, I didn't haven't checked it yet. I got my card in the back. But uh, the last time I checked it was just about five days ago. I slipped in here, checked my camera, got out of here. And he had been coming in here just sporadically every now and then. Just, you know, he may be here a day and then not day, but he's been coming in here. Just, I'm assuming he's bedding just right here to the north of me. And uh, everything's perfect this evening. I got in here and got set up early. But anyway, it's about three o'clock now. Right at three o'clock, and uh, the last picture I had of him, he was in here at like 5:45. So, I'll sit back, and see what happens, and hopefully we'll have some action this evening. hour this deer I'm hunting was in here yesterday morning at 7.30 he was in here last night at about 9.45 and 
and he was in here the morning of the 7th at also about 7.30. So if I don't see him tonight, I plan on getting in here early in the morning, about two hours before daylight, climbing up, and sitting here with my bow in my hand about 7.30 in the morning. And hopefully, he'll show, hopefully he'll show this evening. I'll show you a picture of him real quick. That's the one we're after. We'll see how long it takes. So it's November 2nd. And it's around 4.30 right now. Come in here. At lunchtime with my buddy Drew. And this big nine point that we've been hunting. Consistently for the last three mornings. Drew's behind me about 40 yards in a climber, overlooking the cutover. So maybe one of us can lay an eye on him this evening to see where he's coming from. I've got about a 15 yard shot. laid eyes on this deer in almost a month now. But he's still here. And this evening I feel like killing him. Viewing the footage, we decided to play it safe and let this deer lay overnight. We entered the woods the next morning at daylight to try and pick up a blood trail. After two hours of searching, not one drop of blood was found between the two of us. We decided to start back from the point of the shot, split up, 
and continued a grid search of the entire area. Around mid-morning, within only a couple hundred yards of the stand, Drew jumped the deer from his bed. Fortunately, the buck only ran a short ways before bedding down within Drew's view. Drew quickly marked the spot and backed out to find me. Upon meeting me and after discussing the situation, I decided to give this deer even more time to try and expire. As we returned to the marked location over five hours later, to our amazement, the buck has moved almost 60 yards and is still alive. I can barely see the top of the buck's antlers protruding over the thick undergrowth of the cutover. At this point, I decide to attempt to stalk on this buck. At this point, I need to take about five more steps to get a clear shot at the deer's vitals. But before I can, this buck picks me off as I enter the sunlight. As he tries to flee, I quickly realize the buck is physically impaired and I rush in for a final shot. Got him, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's nice. He's nice. Been a long quest after this joker right here. I've been hunting this deer since the beginning of bow season. And uh, I had multiple run-ins with him. Seen him four different times prior to, to yesterday. Um, yesterday I had my good buddy Drew with me. He's behind the camera now. This deer, come in from the exact opposite direction we thought he was. Drew was in a climber behind me. Both of us were able to, to get some footage of him. He come in right at dark. My shot was a little back, a little high, so we decided to, to wait till morning to come in and look for this deer. So when we did, found no blood, no hair. And after two hours of looking, we started grid searching. Drew walked up on the deer 120 yards directly behind the stand. He made a big circle last night, laid up. We decided to give him some time, come back in here this evening, and uh, it's probably probably close to 4 o'clock now. Uh, but uh, nice buck, nice nine point, big deer, big, big mature deer, five and a half year old deer. And uh, it turned out good. It turned out good, man. It turned out good. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.